Hey guys, this is Miss Igo. Welcome to my classroom. This video is going to show you how to use the TI-36X Pro Calculator to do operations with matrices and find the inverse of a matrix. So we're gonna start out with these two matrices, these square matrices that I have written out here. Um, and we're going to put those into the calculator. So the way that we input that into the TI-36X Pro is first of all, let's turn it on, um, if we press the second button, and then right here, the math button above it, it says matrix. We're gonna press that, and that takes us to um, the matrices in the calculator. So we are going to first edit a matrix so we're gonna scroll over to edit and we're gonna choose the first one. You can either press the one button or if it's highlighted, you can just press enter. And we have, we're gonna put in this first matrix here and it is a two by two matrix because it has two rows and two columns. All right, so I see that for the rows, the two is already highlighted. So we're gonna move down to the columns and I'm gonna to scroll to the number two and hit enter and then we press OK and the way that you know you did it right is you have the same number of places in your matrix as you do it in what you're trying to input so I'm just gonna put in the values so I have a 5 in the first place and then I hit enter and that puts it in the matrix then I have a negative 6 do not press the minus button for negative six, make sure you use this little button down here. It's got a negative sign in parentheses. Um, so we're going to put negative six and then hit enter. And then we have a negative eight. So again, we're gonna use the negative button, press the eight, hit enter, and then nine and hit enter. Okay, so now that we have all of the values put into that matrix. We're going to quit, we're backing out of it. And now we have to put in the other matrix. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing, press second, hit the math button to get into my matrices. And then this time I'm going to edit, I don't wanna edit the same matrix that I just input. So I'm going over to edit, and then I'm gonna scroll down or put the number two to edit a different matrix. So now that I do that, again, this is also a two by two matrix. So I'm going to scroll over to the number two for the rows and hit enter. And then in the columns, it's also a two, and then I hit enter. So again, I'm going to input the values. I have a negative four, hit enter, six, negative one, and a three. All right, so once I have all of the values input, then I'm going to quit that. So we can just say that the first matrix that I put in is my matrix A, and the second one is my matrix B. All right, so any operations that we wanna do with these two matrices, if I wanna add them, subtract them, or multiply them, all I have to do is first go to second again, matrix, and the, the very first one, if I, wanna, if I wanna add matrix A and matrix B, I would put enter. So then that's telling me that's matrix A. And whatever operation I wanna do, if I wanna add, subtract, or multiply, I can press that operation button. And then again, I'm gonna go back and choose the other matrix. So now I'm gonna scroll down to the second matrix, that's my matrix B. And so I'm adding those two matrices together and I just hit enter and now it gives me the values when those two matrices are added together. Again, the same thing if I were going to subtract them instead of putting a plus sign in between A and B, I would put in a minus sign. And if I were gonna multiply, then I would just put the multiplication sign. Now, I wanna show you something. Let's look at another set of matrices. So let's look at these two matrices. I'm gonna input those, so let me quit this and go back into the matrix. And so this first matrix that I have is, um, well, let's let's go in and edit. So we're, we're um, 
I'm gonna scroll over to edit and choose the, the first one. So this first matrix only has one row. So I'm gonna highlight one, but it has three columns. So in the columns, I'm gonna choose three. So this is a one by three matrix. And I hit enter. And if you are not sure about which one to put in first, it asks you for the row or the column. But when you get to this point, if it doesn't look like what you're wanting it to look like, then you know you did something wrong. All right, so I'm gonna put in those values. I have one, negative two, and three. All right, so I'm gonna quit that. And now for my second matrix, again, I'm gonna go over to edit, and now I'm gonna choose the second one. And this has three rows and one column. Okay, so let me input those values. I have a negative four, five, and six. And then again, I'm going to quit. Now, let's see what would happen if I try to add these two matrices together. So I'm gonna choose my matrix A plus my matrix B. And if I add those together, it says dimension mismatch. So you can only add or subtract matrices that have the same number of rows and columns. They have to be the same size matrices in order to add or subtract them. Okay, so I'm gonna quit that, clear that. All right, so let's see what happens if we try to multiply them. Okay, so I'm gonna choose matrix A times matrix B. And this time I get an answer, I get a solution. So I can multiply those two. In order to multiply matrices, they have to have the same number of columns the first matrix has to have the same number of columns as the number of rows in the second matrix. So this first matrix had three columns and the second matrix had three rows. So we were able, able to multiply them. Let's do one more set. If you notice, these two matrices here, um, let's go back and edit a matrix. All right, so this first matrix, the number of rows is two, and the number of columns is three. All right, so let me put in the values. I have one, two, three, zero, negative one, and five. Okay, now I'm gonna quit. And in the second one, let's go to the second matrix. Edit, scroll down to the second one. This one also has two rows and three columns. Let me put in the values. I have negative two, three, zero, one, negative seven, and two. Okay, so if I try to take these and add them together, let's, let's subtract, we haven't subtracted yet. So if we subtract, we are able to do that because these two matrices have the same dimensions. They have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. All right, so what happens when we try to multiply these? So matrix A times matrix B. If I try to multiply those, that's not gonna work because like I said, the first matrix has, matrix has to have the same number of columns as the rows in the second matrix. 
So if I were to take this second matrix and add a row, let's see what would happen. So I'm just gonna pick some numbers. So if I had say five, um, four, three. Or let's do negative three. Okay, so if I want to go in to my matrices and I'm going to edit the second matrix and now it's going to be a three by three. I have negative two, three, zero, one, negative seven, two, five, four, negative three. All right, so let's take our first matrix and multiply it times our second matrix. And now that works because the number of columns in the first matrix is three and the number of rows in the second matrix is also three. So we can multiply these together. Now, the way that we find the inverse of a matrix, so I already have two matrices input into my calculator. Let's just take ma matrix A. So if I have matrix A to find the inverse of that matrix, I just push this button here. It's my X, right here. my X um, with the little box raised beside it. That's to put an exponent in. So I'm gonna do that. And then the negative one means the inverse of that matrix. And so then oh, it said, let me show you what, what just happened. So it said invalid dimensions. All right, so that matrix, matrix one has two rows and three columns. All right, let's look at if I can do matrix two, which has three rows and three columns. Let's see if that works. Matrix two, All right, let's find the inverse of that matrix and it works. And the reason is um, in order to have an inverse, in order for a matrix to have an inverse, it must be a square matrix. So that's why matrix A, the one that I had put in, it was not a square matrix, but matrix B was a square matrix and therefore I was able to find the inverse. And like I said, all you have to do is press the exponent button and put in negative one. I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure that you tell your fellow classmates and make sure that you subscribe so that you can see any other videos that I upload. Have a great day.